This week on the Digital Marketing Scoop, we're talking about how to choose where to put your advertising budget. Hey everyone, welcome to this week's episode of the Digital Marketing Scoop. So this week we're going to be chatting about uh, where to put your advertising budget. So between all the different platforms, Google Ads, and within Google Ads, Google Shopping, YouTube, and uh, you Facebook ads and Instagram ads um, and LinkedIn, um, as well as lots of other um, digital platforms that you, you could be um, spending your advertising budget on as well. Um, so I suppose the first thing is always to kind of sit down and establish from your marketing campaign what your goals are. Yeah. A hundred percent. I mean, you, you, there's no point in even kind of allocating budget anywhere until you have a strategy of uh, some sort in place. Yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. Um, so I suppose there's, there's two, I suppose there's, there's two main ones. There's always kind of one is the brand awareness side of things. Yeah. And the other one is the, the conversions and the sales side. Yeah. They're the two really main kind of, of, of strategies you, you would be looking at. Yeah. Um, for me, in terms of brand awareness, Facebook and Instagram and YouTube are absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Um, these are wonderful, wonderful platforms to get your brand out there, to bring attention to, to what you do, um, to get your your business or your products or your services um, in front of potential people who have an, an interest in what you're offering. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Facebook um, and Instagram... It, you can use it in two different ways for brand awareness and it's mostly budget based. I mean, if you've got a big budget, um, you could probably do a lot of different types of ads. I mean, you can do kind of like all your dynamic ads. You could have your kind of video ads going out. You you can layer a lot more into it with the higher, the higher the budget you have, the lower the budget you have, you should probably focus on things like the reach and engagement, especially if you're a new business, things like that as well. Um, but it's, it's perfect for brand awareness. It's just the different ways you can use it would largely depend on the size of your company, your budget, and how well known you are. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I'd, I'd put YouTube into, into the mix there as well, especially if you're a new business and you have a lot of um, your competitors are already established yeah. on YouTube, then run pre-roll ads on your competitors. Um, mm-hmm. You know, it's a, it's a good way of, of basically getting in front of the people you know are your exact customers yeah oh like it's youtube is particularly i think underused by a lot of people like people focus on their facebook instagram and and google ads for the most part they they don't even think of of youtube and they've probably made a bulk load of video content for facebook and instagram that they could just be repurposing across youtube especially for remarketing yeah yeah um so in terms then of of actual driving conversions, Facebook is also fantastic for that, particularly from an e-commerce point yeah. of view. Um, Facebook catalog is absolutely brilliant way to take the feed from your e-commerce site yeah. and start pushing your individual products out in front of people who want them, basically. Yeah, and I mean, like, I think people often underestimate how well Facebook can target you, it can target you to the button like it is so good. Not but creepy at all. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's perfect for us. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> but what you could do is like you can even, if you really wanted to get kind of granular with it, I mean like you can target specifically people who have had an above average spend on Facebook for the last 30 days. You can do, there's so much there you can do. And I mean, if, if that's not your business, if your business isn't that kind of um, e-commerce products kind of driving people that way, I mean, they have, you can ha- use an instant experience on Facebook to have a quick lead gen form. You can just send them to a lead gen page. I mean, you can you can, you can can use it that, that way as well to drive leads if that's your, your business as well. Yeah. Um, and I suppose looking at Instagram, again, from building the brand, it is absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think if you're, it depends on your product or service, but I mean, if you're in like the travel industry or the restaurant industry and you want to to build brand awareness, then Instagram is an absolute no-brainer for you to be spending your budget in in on that area. The only thing I would say about Instagram at this point is I did account it myself the other day in a few different news feeds and I was counting one in every four posts being ads and I was going, "Mm, 
that is that's a that's a high saturation of it ads. Is. So you're going to need to put that little bit of extra effort. Yeah, in. and I think you might get better bang for buck focusing on stories as well. Yeah, um, because yeah. it's it's just that little less bit used, I think, by advertisers as opposed to the feed. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, like the the tool we use, well, I use anyway, is placeit.net actually yeah i think christian's using it now as yep. well and it we both find it really really good i yep. mean it it's you can make really nice instagram stories quickly yeah 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 so in terms of driving conversions I, for me google ads is just one of the best ways that you can start driving sales and conversions um people are literally searching for what you you have and you're putting it in front of them yeah, uh, it's very hard to find um, a more targeted customer. Really. <laughs> it goes back to the intent thing that we were yeah. saying in a podcast before. I mean, if so, if when you pick up your phone and you put something into Google, you're intentionally you you're looking specifically for that for that reason to either buy it, book it, look at it for another date to buy it. Yeah, that's that. Those are the three things you're going to do. You're you're and if you don't bookmark it or if someone doesn't remarket you, you'll go search it and maybe find it somewhere else. That's the only time you're going to maybe lose that person but I, that's why google ads is just perfect for conversions yeah. and that's why facebook and instagram aren't as perfect even though they still work yeah, absolutely yeah. yeah um so i suppose it's it's a very hard question to to answer without knowing the specifics of the business um yeah and what your budget is but i suppose it's just to be aware of that in terms of driving conversions Google Ads is where you expect to have, you know, a return on ad spend. I spent this much on ads yeah. and it drove this amount of sales. And you want yeah. to see a very positive figure there. Yeah. Um, whereas with Facebook and Instagram, you don't necessarily, again, it, it depends, but you don't necessarily go say, I spent this much on ads and I drove this much in sales. But, you know, how much brand recall is there from the, the people who've, who've seen your ads? Yeah. How much more brand awareness have you driven of of the the products, the services, your the brand you have? Yeah. So I I would say in terms of, of measurement, Google Ads, yes, you want you yeah. want with your Google Ads to see I spent this much and I made this much. Yeah, I would say with Facebook and Instagram, it depends. Yeah, but little things like I know that these are very kind of not nailed in stone things, but. Say, like, if you're going, right, I've just done a Facebook and Instagram campaign and I know that I'm hoping brand awareness is up. I only got, I didn't make a return on my conversions. Did your searches go up on Google? Did they spike yeah. unexpectedly? Um, these little things, you could probably go, John, that was probably the brand awareness. Because you, if, I mean, I, I know you could explain it other ways. Suddenly your SEO could have gotten better or this, that, and the other. But see, brand awareness is going to help your SEO as well. If exactly. there's more people searching your brand, exactly, that's going to help yeah, your yeah. as well. I mean, so there's there's so many things you, you can pin back to brand awareness. And a lot of people go, oh, is that not a bit of a wishy-washy kind of explanation? But no, it's not. I mean, if, if the two of them happen side by side, they correlated, it's likely they're related. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I suppose in conclusion, we've probably answered absolutely nothing for you. <laughs> 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 the answer is it depends. Yeah. But, but that if you are conversion focused, look at Google Ads. Yeah. If you are uh, in particular sectors, as I say, like kind of travel, restaurants, those kind of sectors, definitely I would say start looking at Instagram. Um, and if you're looking at overall building your brand, you know, start looking at YouTube, Facebook and Instagram. Yeah. And if you dare go down the LinkedIn ads road, I Open hope you've got a, oh yeah, you've got <laughs> best of luck with that budget. <laughs> Thanks for listening. That's been this week's episode of the Digital Marketing Scoop. <laughs>